Yeah, so I wasn't really planning on ever doing this, but I think I might start just making these uh, Gears of War posts like this. Rather than just finding my way to people's comment sections and stuff. Shout out to Z, or however you actually say your name. It's like GZ, so I don't know how you want us to say it. But anyway, I fucks with your videos. I fucks with this guy. I think he's on the right path as far as it comes to, you know, when it comes to giving the coalition feedback and, you know, letting them know how he feels in an elaborate, well-thought manner. But I think the problem is that even with him and everyone that comes at him, you guys are all missing the very obvious thing here gears isn't dead because give range or you know the issues that we bitch about every day it's dead because there is no life behind the development process that goes into the game it's all what do the players want or oh my god they complained about this it's not damn guys what would be really cool on this map or what would be a really cool map to make or what would be a really cool weapon to add to the game or what would be a, a great aspect that we can change to this level of design or how this mechanic works that could really get players excited or really keep them engaged in the game. When you start a match, I mean, even the fucking presentation of the game. I'm sorry, guys. I feel I'm, I'm a little sick, by the way. So forgive me for feel, uh, sounding a little bit nasally. I also just got back from court. So yeah, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, when you start up Gears of War 4 or 5... There's no life. You get the menu music. You go to your playlist. When the match starts, you see your team. You see your team. It shows like a, 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 a mirror view. Like we're looking directly at their face. They're looking at you, at the player. What are they doing? Nothing. There's no amazing sound. There's no no characters saying shit in the beginning like they used to like uh see you in hell baird used to say see you in hell at the beginning of matches sometimes you don't get that when enemies swap sides you don't get an enemy reinforcements you don't get that where is the fun it's so dead there's no ambience in the maps you just hear like random metal creaking and drips dripping where's the where the where's the wildlife where's the you know Where's the immersion? Where's the immersion? Something about this Gears and the last two just doesn't feel involved. It, it's lacking a soul. I once made a post on the forums about the perfect recipe for Gears of War 4. I was looking for that recently so I could re-upload it to YouTube in, a, in a, a format similar to this just so I could have it in a way that's more digestible for you guys because I feel like that was the perfect post. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn. It's just throughout all my years of playing Gears of War and my name is Potty Snatcher. If you look me up, if, if you're a developer and you see this, look up my statistics. I've played this game nonstop since the first time my... My, I created my account, Gears of War 2. I went over a friend's house. He was playing Gears of War 2. I fell in love with the game, got a 360, and it became my main thing ever since. Gears 3, best Gears yet. You know why? Because it was fun. It was well polished. Yeah, the rifles were OP and damage. Server stability, same as we're dealing with now. Still unstable, still inconsistent, blah, blah, blah. At least we don't have to deal with host as much. That's an improvement. You know, there are improvements, but there are a lot of steps backwards that we're going. Why, when we create a new game, do we take away previous weapons? Let's throw those bitches in the multiplayer custom lobbies. What, what the fuck? Where's the fun? You know, there's no, there is no conscious thought about the fun. And that is the problem, guys. And you guys are missing it. It's so obvious. It's not about fun. It's about how balanced can the game be? Is it esports ready? What about if the players are going to have fun when they load it up? You change the natural mechanics. It feels a little bit like Gears 3 now. That's great. But it doesn't really matter because we still have six shots in the Nasher. So I find myself like, what the fuck? After shooting two shots, I feel like I got to reload every time because, God damn it, I did reload. I just didn't get my whole clip. Why? 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 Yo, if you get it on the vertical bar for a reload... It should be active boost, quick reload, and active boost is if it applies. If you get it on the horizontal bar, horizontal, if you get it on that one, it should be a quick reload, nothing more. 
which I, I would, yeah, quick reload, reload, nothing more. If you don't go for those and you get a normal reload, then you get a normal reload. It's, just, it's a slow, normal reload. You should still get your full clip. The only time you should get a partial clip is if you jam your clip. It's a fucking perfect solution and it makes sense. Damn, I jammed my fucking reload. Oh, well, fuck it. I, I don't got time to keep reloading, right? Think about it as, as, as if you were the character in a movie or if you were the character in a life or death situation. This is how the developers can find ways to make the game more fun. Put yourself in the position of you being in the game as the character shooting and running around and think about how you would be in that situation or what, like, you know, I, I don't know. For instance, human shields. What the fuck are the point? Yo, if you pick up a human shield, as long as someone comes close enough to put their shotgun in your chest, somehow you'll go instantly down and you'll just drop the shield. What the fuck is that? What's the point of the human shield? I'm not saying give my player character more health because I have a shield. No, but make that shield a little bit more viable. It shouldn't be getting blown to smithereens the instant that I pick it up. That's a problem. And it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't create... Everything has to be kind of rock, paper, scissors in a in sense of balance. This has to counter that. That has to counter this. And that makes sense. It has to be a jigsaw puzzle. It makes perfect sense. But I don't think that's how it's being looked at. It doesn't come across that way. And I wish I, I had more time to figure out how to edit or a laptop or a computer so that I could really get my clips and stuff and really break down some of the things that I see. Because I got a fucking back catalog of so much random screenshots and fucking clips that I've produced. Off of this fucking Gears 4 or 5, man, that I just have so many questions about. And just like Z goes around and, you know, he'll be like, dude, you missed your shot and he'll draw the lines on it. I can admit when I miss a shot, but I can also admit when the game is just completely horseshit, man. What do we got to do, guys? I want Gears to be great, but how is it going to be great if we can't, as a collective team come to a conclusion or a, a, a solution or a, an, an a, a realization together on what the true issues with the game are. You got people saying it's Gibbrange. You got people saying it's not the Gibbrange. You got people saying it's some other random bullshit. No, first and foremost, guys, it's connectivity. If connectivity across the board is unstable, just off of a player-to-player -player standpoint, my connection, I'm not paying for the highest, but this guy is. So his should be better, but somehow I have the better experience. No, we need to fix that. These servers need to, these servers need to be sharper than that. It's 2020. We're playing a third person shooter that is trying to be HDR 4K off a console that can't be hardware, the hardware can't be upgraded. You see where the problem is there? When you take that same player and then put him in a match with a highly optimized PC player, with a highly fucking ridiculous Wi-Fi. You, do, you, do you see the lows and highs in between that? The differences, it doesn't make a healthy playing environment. It creates an environment where some people are literally driving themselves mad and others are fucking like, whoa, dude, this is the best game ever. There's no common ground. It's always a high or low with people in their opinion. Coalition, you guys have got to be the people to step up and invest in some state-of-the-art servers. Your servers have got to be 10 years ahead of the game, 5 years, 3, 4, I don't know. But you guys got to think ahead of the Xbox One X series, whatever, you know? Like, yeah, that's, yeah, I know, think about the next Gears that's going to come to that. <coughs> no. <coughs> Don't do that, because knowing you guys, you guys are already preparing to port Gears 5 over to the next console. With that being said, you guys even more so have more, like, motivation to fucking get these servers together. Invest, invest, invest. We will back you guys. Esports, black steel skins. No more chrome steel. That shit's ugly. You guys finally made a skin for the Kansas. And it's fucking chrome steel. And it's ugly as fuck, dude. Come on with this shit, dude. Black steel was much better. Why did you guys switch the switch it? Why not? You know why? You guys are probably going to bring back all the black steel somehow. I wonder how you're going to do it. Are you going to charge us for it? 
Probably. We should get those characters for free. I think all the esports characters, if it's possible to get those in Gears 5, we need those back for free, bro. That's, that's too much money spent, and it's wrong of you guys to even withhold those from people. I get that we paid for those characters for that specific game, fine. But you guys know in your hearts that that wouldn't be right. I know you guys are better than that. I know you guys need money. You guys will get money if you guys just do the right things. Do right by your player base. It isn't hard. Simple shit. Yo, if you guys decided to one day just announce that you're adding a bunch of random ass old weapons to fucking custom lobbies, the Mortar, the Scorcher, the Gorgon Pistol, original, and the, the Mark II version where it has burst? Oh no, it was the the original had the burst, and the second one was auto, a semi-automatic or some shit, right? Come on. Come on, guys. You guys got all the fucking ingredients laid about. Free for all. I, I get what you guys are trying to do by creating this weird template or device, this forge system where you guys can just go in and shit out some maps. Fuck that. I mean, yeah, I mean, no, no, fuck that. It's just that will work, but you guys got to intersperse that with some actual maps. Take some judgment free for all maps. Throw those bitches in five with some new modernizations and reimaginations. And it'll be perfect. Those gears, those gears judgment maps weren't bad. It's just they were fucking huge. But you know what? If we threw those maps into this gears and obviously retweak them, perfection. Get the breach shot, perfection. Fun. And even those maps had, you know, things about them that made them fun. Gondola had gondolas. But not only did it have gondolas, it had like fucking 20 feet drops so you could fall down and not break your ankles. It was annoying to see characters fall from that height. Yeah. I want to see them fall from higher heights, but not that damn high. You know, I shouldn't be falling from an actual rooftop and being okay. That's ridiculous. We're talking about super soldiers now. I didn't know we were making a Halo Gears of War again. That, that's not what I want. Let us have fun, Coalition. Have fun. I know you guys didn't take over Gears of War just to be locked in this prison state of of framework and, 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 and work ethic where you guys can't explore. The weapons that we're getting are construction weapons. Tell me how the drop shot is a construction weapon. The buzz kill. Construction weapon, I'm sorry. Construction tool. No, just stop. It's trash, dude. I like the idea of a buzzsaw weapon, but the one we have, terrible. Let's get one that shoots mini disc, and let's have it as a sidearm. Now that would be dope. Imagine... Being on district, you got an asshole crossing in that top room, and you're stuck in yours. None of your teammates are helping you out, but you have your, you have your pistol, you know, buzzsaw launcher thing. It's not shooting super large ones, shooting reasonably sized ones, and they ricochet. That'll flush people out of room. That's good supporting damage. That's a good. That's a good support weapon. The bus kill we currently have, it's not bad. It's just slow and big as fuck. It's a two-handed weapon. It's its Swap that one out for, like, the one shot or something. It, like, it's just the things that we're doing. Like, you guys invented the try shot in Gears 4, but left the Moltro on some maps? It's just weird shit like that. Like, I'd argue it would have been cooler to have us have the Mortar on um, Reclaimed. If we had the mortar or the one shot on reclaimed, wah, perfection. Somebody talk to me here. Am I tripping? Another thing. Why can't solo players have a good time playing this game? Why can't solo players get into ranked matches and have a good time? Why does a ranked solo player always have to get matched up against four or five dick riders? It's not fair. It's not fun. I consistently, match after match, solo, have to go against stacked teams. What the fuck am I going to do, man? I can only get 22 kills and get 10 deaths carrying a team that's losing back to back to back for so long, man, before I lose my fucking mind. Another thing that bothers me is how do these guys even become groups? How do these guys group up to play this game? How did you guys find each other? It's weird. There's all these little clicks in the in this in this community. 
but no intermingling, no interconnectivity. No one's bouncing ideas off of each other in a constructive way. I feel like what I'm doing right now is probably the most that's been done to give some creative, constructive feedback that doesn't lean towards balancing or gib range or shot distance or damage fall off. These are all things that matter, yes. But connectivity first, fun second, balance last. Because, again, why the fuck are people paying... You know, I had a guy on the Twitter just now that I read comparing his experiences and how he's more driven to play Dead by Daylight. I, I, in, in some weird comparison to Gears 5. You're comparing a third-person competitive team-based shooter to an asymmetrical horror-based game where it's 1v however many. How do the games compare? The fun, Even the fun factors don't compare. They, like, what they're going for isn't the same. Arguably, though, gear should be a little more horrific. But whatever. It's not, a, it's not an argument. Unless, it's not an argument. Unless we're, we're, like, talking about some type of personal preference here. But when you start bringing in shit like Dead by Daylight and Plants versus zombies, garden warfare and shit. What the fuck are we talking about? Are we talking about helping gears? Or are we just bashing it? Come on, people. I'm sorry. I'm dehydrated. I'm unhealthy. It's been a lot of reasons why I haven't been streaming and shit lately and posting. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. It's all Potty Snatcher. Been thinking about changing the name. I don't know if this one's going to be too marketable. It's just I've had it for so long. I've met so many good people. I just didn't want to... You know, I didn't want to leave that behind. But if I have to change my name, maybe I will. Any suggestions, please? I was thinking something with paradox in it, or paradoxical, and something about being thought-provoking and thoughtful and mindful. If you guys got any suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, and subscribe if you guys like the content. I will be sure to provide more. I just don't know if I can if I don't know if it's reaching anyone. So please, let me know, guys. Share. Post it. Let me know. I've got tons of feedback to give. I just, I've been so fucking stuck on this idea that I need to get all the quality right and I need to find a editor and I need to learn how to edit and I need to get Elgato and all these streaming things when, man, I'll just use my fucking phone if I got to and I'll continue to stream off a of mixer if I got to. And I got to connect. I just don't have an adapter for my Xbox One X. But anyway... See you guys. I hope to be able to do this again soon. Hope it actually proves to be worth. Wow. Again, I love Gears. I just want the game to be great again. Funny, right? Make Gears great again. That might need, be, need to be the new hashtag we put in every post that we post about Gears. We need to put Gears 5. No, we need to put Gears of War. We need to put Make Gears Great Again. And we need to put the acronym version of Make Gears Great Again. That's that's what we need to start putting in every hashtag. And I don't mean to steal that from you, my my boy. I just think that is a really great idea. And I think I think that should be spread along the community. Not in a bad way, not in a malicious way, but just in a way to encourage Microsoft, the coalition, Phil Spencer, whoever needs to be motivated or moved to see that bottom line is we want a fun game. We want a game that we can play nonstop, hour after hour, day after day, sun up to sundown. I don't feel that when I play Gears 5. When I think about Gears 5, I, I feel dread. I feel I feel real, like, yeah, it's a little OD, but I feel some type of pain, honestly. It sucks. Gears is a great series. From a story standpoint, from a lore standpoint, it's a great universe. Why isn't the series getting the love it deserves? We're five in. No, technically, technically seven. Technically eight. It, technically nine. I'm, I'm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm thinking Gears Pop. I'm thinking Tactics. I'm thinking Ultimate Edition. You know the untitled numbers. I'm thinking Judgment. Damn. No, I said nine, bro. Ten. We got Gears one, two, three, four, five. Judgment, Pop, Tactics, Ultimate Edition. I'm sorry. We got nine. Nine titles in the franchise. Coalition, don't let this franchise die. We, you got Microsoft is investing too much, man. If you guys need some type of consultant, somebody who really 
loves the game and who can really unbiasedly from the balances to the creative stuff. I just want to help this game be as great as it can be. Please. There aren't many games that I, I find this kind of love for. And the games that I have, they don't make them anymore. I don't get I don't have a Power Stone remastered or remake. I just got the PSP collection that eh, was whatever. Come on, guys. I'm out.